So we're just in the St. Lawrence market today because they have it open now. I don't know if it was closed originally, but I'm pretty sure it was, but they opened it up, but they're only limiting like amount of people in. So that's interesting. So our good food is here, which is the three meals for two servings. So like three dinners essentially for two people. I got, I don't even know, sorry guys. I'm just a little tired. Wow, my face is red in weird areas right now. I got ground beef skillet pastizio. Never had that before. Uh, pork schnitzel and some Aloha burgers to make today. So this is kind of what it looks like, the meal prep stuff. She's got the meats, I guess that's the pork. And then the pasta packet. So everything comes with the exact portions that you need for the serving sizes. And then the burger one, buns inside. And then I'm assuming this one is the schnitzel one. Yep. So that's kind of what it all looks like, the good food type stuff. Normally I wouldn't be someone to get these kind of things because I don't really have too much of a problem with meal prepping or not even meal prepping, just coming up with the idea. I think if you're someone that has more so a busy schedule and doesn't have the time to ideate meal ideas and then run out to the grocery store to grab everything, then it makes sense. Like if you get home from work late all the time and you have the income for it, um, then it's reasonable, but the only reason why I'm doing it today is because we got like a $40 discount code in the mail. So I was like, yeah, you know, only $20. Like usually this amount of food would be 60 something, um, but we only had to pay like 21. I think it was like that with the discount that we got, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so I think tonight I'm gonna be making the pasta. I'm honestly not that hungry right now because we just ran out and got some bubble tea um, as a little bit of a break. And I listened to your guys' recommendations on cat litter. You guys were saying silica, silica, silica. So I picked up some silica today, which wasn't the easiest way to do it because I've noticed now it's all of the pet stores. It's not just that one pet store. Every single pet store near me is doing that whole, um, no one's allowed inside the store and you have to call in advance and place your order, which isn't easy for someone who's like a new pet owner and has like, doesn't know what they're looking for or what brand in specific, or if they even carry that brand. So, um, I just kind of was like, I don't know, do you have, like I had to stand outside, call the store and ask them if they had a silica cat litter and they just said, yeah, we have this, this and this. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll take the smallest one. So I just finished putting it in his litter. So I got rid of all his um, previous litter, the clumping one that was in there, which was actually a corn type of litter, which is what the foster owner gave us. I actually have a whole other huge bag of it. But like I said, the dust was kind of getting to me, especially because he sleeps beside my face at night. And I don't know if he goes to the bathroom at night during night, is he coming back and laying beside my face? Like that's really not a sanitary thing. That kind of grosses me out. So <laughs> Lysol wiped his entire litter and I just put it in. One thing I am kind of concerned about is the types of granula, granulars, granulas that they are because I've heard that a lot of people's cats don't end up liking the litter because it's hard on their paws. And this one I noticed does have some sharp corners to it. So I'm concerned he might not like it, but I guess we'll find out if he does, if he starts peeing or pooing on the mat outside of his litter, which <laughs> I hope doesn't happen. I hope he doesn't really care about it. He seems pretty curious though. Um, yeah. and. The pet store I went to only had the one type of litter, which is the crystals, clearly crystals. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope he likes it. Even if he doesn't, I made sure to only get the one, the lowest size, like the three pound one, which is enough for one month. So if he doesn't like it, it's not like I lost a ton of money, but I'm hoping you do. everyone sorry I haven't been vlogging too much this week it's been a little bit of a low energy 
week for me and my eye has just been extremely twitching. You can see it in this video. I'll zoom in on it. Like it's a non-stop constant thing. My eye is just twitching like crazy. Even though I've been getting the same amount of hours of sleep and now my second eye is starting to, I don't know what's wrong with me. Is it stress? Is it fatigue? Even though I've been sleeping normally, like I don't really know. But anyway, I just wanted to tune in with you guys because I haven't tuned in much this week just because it's been a really odd energy for me all week. But I recently got a new bed skirt for our bed because the one that we have um, is the original one that came with the bed and um, it's black and it doesn't really, I don't know, like, I just wanted everything to match a little bit better. I don't really like dark colors. Even you can clearly see the kitchen behind me is dark colors, but we didn't really have a say in that. But um, I just want everything to look clean and, and look, like nice and fresh. So I figured, you know what the hell, it's like 20 bucks, might as well. It doesn't really cover anything fully. I have towels under the mattress so they don't accidentally scratch the floor since we don't have a bed frame. And I don't want to, because it, you know it's like a rental unit, I don't want the plastic on the box spring to accidentally scratch anything, so don't mind that. But anyways, yeah, the current bed frame or skirt is black and it doesn't really match the whole like beige theme we have going on here. So I wanted to change that up a little bit. Eucalyptus bed sheets. Do they smell like eucalyptus? No. no eucalyptus they already smells. are really soft though. Go like this. Oh my god. We're gonna have luxurious sleeping in this. Does it come with pillowcases? I don't know. This bag contains the earth's softest bedding. Oh my. I have never heard of eucalyptus bed sheets before. Only bamboo, but I love eucalyptus. Ooh, gonna wash these and get them on our bed. Hello my loves, today is a very sleepy day for me here in Toronto. It is so foggy outside all day that you can't see a thing, like literally can't see anything out our windows. Uh, with that being said, I feel like I have honestly achieved nothing today, which is accurate. I have achieved nothing today. I cancelled stream because I just, I knew I would be completely silent the whole time. Like it's just one of those days where you're extremely low energy, it's gloomy, it's rainy, it's foggy outside, and you're just kind of like brain dead. But anyway, I figured I would share a little bit of a recipe that I haven't shared in a while. It is my salmon gochujang type recipe, like it's Korean flavor inspired. It's basically like sweet salmon with a bit of spicy sauce on it. Uh, so I'm gonna share that with you guys today. Literally, this is the view that we have today. You can't see a thing. And it's been like that since the morning and it's already going on, I think like four o'clock. And this morning, this little man destroyed an entire roll of toilet paper. We didn't let him sleep with us last night because he was being, he's been really naughty lately at night. He has kind of reverted back to like his kitten habits. I'm not too sure why. Um, he's been really good for the past I would say month and a half, almost two months that we've had him, um, except for like the first two weeks he was like annoying like this, where he like walks over your face <laughs> when you're trying to sleep and then starts like attacking your feet and stuff, which is surprising because we usually tire him out during the day. I mean, you just saw him napping now, but usually like we play with him and wake him up in the afternoon after he has his midday nap so that he burns some energy. Um, but I don't know why he's been doing that. Like usually he'll sleep beside my face at night and be like that the entire night and just like cuddle and sleep. But yeah, the past, I'd say like two or three nights, he's been kind of reverting to his kitten habits where he's like up in the middle of the night to like walk on your face and try to like lay on your face. 
and it's like, it's not okay. So I got kind of mad at him last night and I kicked him out of the room and I was like, no, he needs to learn that he can't walk on your face when you're trying to sleep, like it's not okay. Uh, and then we closed the door and throughout the night he destroyed a roll of toilet paper. And I feel like that's the second time we've ever locked him out of the room when we're sleeping um, to try to like discipline him being like, that's bad, you can't do these things. If you don't do these things, you don't get to sleep with us. And each time he's done that, he's like destroyed something aggressively. Like the one time he destroyed an entire flower pot, like knocked it over and it shattered everywhere. And there was dirt all over the place. And then the second time it was the toilet paper. So when I woke up this morning, you guys saw there was shredded toilet paper all over the place, which I guess is not as bad as a flower pot being completely shattered and dirt everywhere. But I mean, it still shows he kind of was upset and rebelled and destroyed some things. Okay, this recipe is pretty easy. I'm going just off memory. It might not be exact to what I did in the past on a Little Bits with B episode, which is a short cooking series I did on my vlog channel a couple years or so ago when I was living in Australia. But basically, from what I recall, it is using a little bit of sesame oil for the nutty flavor, then using a little bit of soy sauce, maple syrup, brown sugar, and then the gochujang sauce, which is just red pepper, Korean red pepper paste. Mix it all together in a bowl and then slather it on top of your salmon. I can't remember if I used onion powder or garlic powder in the mix, you can change it up to whatever you think you would like. For today, I'm just gonna be using these ingredients. So I have my salmon fillet on a baking sheet that has a little bit of olive oil just around the fish and then just taking the sauce that we mixed up, you can put as much as you want on. I feel like with the amount of dilution that you do with the soy sauce, maple and the sesame oil, it doesn't end up being that spicy. Like I remember I first came up with this recipe idea for my family because I wanted them to experience Korean flavors after I moved back to Canada from living in Korea for a bit. But I wanted to like introduce them to it in a more <laughs> gentle way because if you're not familiar with Korean recipes, they can be quite, quite intense. So just kind of cover it up nicely. And then I'm gonna bake it in the oven at 450 until it looks like it's cooked. <laughs> I never really know how long I bake things for. It's probably going to be around 15 minutes, my guess. But yeah, I'm going to pop that in and eat it when it's done with some rice and veggie. And taste test. It's kind of hot. Mm. I was expecting it to be sweeter. It's not too sweet. It's good though. Not too spicy at all. Hey guys, so I haven't done a much vlogging at all the past little while and that's because not much has been going on, honestly. I've just been self-isolating, cooking every single day streaming and editing videos and making content for Instagram. And that's kind of been my focus. But just so you know, right now I'm using my Clara's uh, Supple Moist Preparation Facial Toner in the Unscented Formula, I'm putting like a generous amount on my face. But anyway, I wanted to tune in with you guys because I feel like I haven't just like, oh, someone wants it. <laughs> I feel like I haven't just talked to the camera in the while usually like I just don't see a point throughout the day especially when we're trying to work but yeah nothing really has been going on other than making content for Instagram 
um, focusing a lot more on that, trying to like kind of be better at social media because I feel like I've just kind of failed at it for the past two years. I'm gonna be going in with my By Wish Trends Polyphenol and Propolis 15 Serum. It's really good for people with dry skin. But yeah, I just feel like I've kind of failed a bit with you in social media. And there's good reason for it. Like I was focusing on like actual career level stuff outside, like offline in IRL and not as an influencer. And with that, of course, my social media kind of suffers, which is to be expected. Like if my time is mostly being committed towards that, then I'm not gonna have time to film videos, which can be a full day process. So it's nice having that moment now. This is the Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Serum, Green Tea Serum. I'm using two full pumps of that. But yeah, so I'm happy that I'm back at it. And you may have noticed if you're still tuned into my YouTube channels, which I'm really appreciative about, especially because we recently just hit 60K on my, my main beauty channel, which I've had for like probably nine years now, which is sad. Like a lot of people would see being at 60k in nine years as a pretty depressing number. <laughs> but there's also the fact I haven't actively been working on it consistently through those nine years. I think it's only been the past five years now, going on five years where I've actually actively been consistent with it. Um, so we recently hit 60k there and it just kind of goes to show that my efforts in the past month have paid off because I've really been working hard to reconnect with you guys and um, you know, get to know you again all over again and also coming out with new content that's actually more relevant than what my channel started with over those years. I'm going to be going in with the Ren Skincare Ever Calm Overnight Recovery Balm and just taking like a piece size amount of that. It's like a literally a balm, not a cream whatsoever. Really amazing if you have super dry sensitive skin or aging skin as well. If you're more combination normal to oily, you might find this a little too heavy. That's also why I only use a little bit. So yeah, hitting 60K means a lot to me because my channel has been stuck at, in the 50K range for the past three years, I wanna say. Like I've been, it's been three years I've been stuck at 50K and to, you know, have my efforts in the past month really pay off and having like all you new people join in, maybe not on this channel, my vlogging channel, but having all of you come in is just giving me, a, I guess, hope and it reminds me that like, you know, I'm doing something right and not really to give up. And I'm so grateful too, because a lot of you guys have been consistent viewers of my channel over those five years. And it's amazing how fast time flies. Like it's absolutely outstanding how quickly time flies by. So taking my Jeju Aloe 99% gel from the face shop. I use this as a sleeping mask and taking a really generous amount just all over my skin to thank everyone who stuck around with me for so long through, through the hard times and the good times throughout my life. So yeah, I just wanted to tune in and do a little bit of a quick evening skincare routine with you guys and also just share like my thoughts about that. So yeah, nothing really has been going on in self-isolation the past two weeks other than grocery shopping, me cooking, me working on my live stream. So I do that for about two hours every morning and then after that, I make lunch for me and my boyfriend and then after that I start editing any content that I need to do, kind of ideating any content that I want to come out with for my Instagram and then also editing any videos that are due to come out because I'm trying to do the once a week on my beauty channel if not twice a week and then once a week with the weekly vlogs on here for you guys and to keep updated so yeah thank you guys so much and uh tune back in later or if not Thank you guys so much for watching this weekly vlog. Sorry, there's not too much going on in self-isolation, but how are you guys holding up? I know last week I was in a pretty mentally down, almost depressed state, just because like I, I go through waves of that and I just was feeling really discouraged and really high stress. Like I felt a lot of pressure was on me to create content and I just kind of felt like I 
was a little bit scattered in what exactly I wanted to create and I just felt like a, an immense amount of pressure and it was really stressing me out so that was that was my last week so I want to know how you guys are holding up in self-isolation and if you're feeling stressed or anything just to let you know like you're not alone um, we all are stressed out and I was talking to you guys on live stream as well about it and you guys are all feeling the exact same way so I just want to let you know you're not alone and um, I hope we can all keep pushing and work hard and stay positive the day is done I'm in my wonderful robe and ready to play Animal Crossing mm -hmm.